Hey, yo, lesson here, baby. Welcome to an exciting episode of Behind the Steam, featuring Barbara Bateco. Today, I'm your host, Mark Rivera, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the head shave experience. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and if you feel led to donate to educate, cash app Barbara Bateco. Again, this is a look behind the steam, and here's our head shave experience tutorial. Now, first things first, when you're doing a head shave, you need to trim off all the hair. I preferably use my Handed Super ZR as my balding clipper on a 6 oct uh, ceramic blade. Now as you can see, I'm not going very fast. You want to take long strokes using the clipper to remove as much bulk as possible. Here's another view so you can see how slow I'm actually going. It can really mow down the hair. You just have to be patient and let the clipper do its work. Now this is a really important time to really connect with your customer. So make sure that you're asking open-ended questions, especially questions about their general hair care, so you can figure out which products that we have that can be best suited for their needs. Don't forget our niceties. We have to make sure to clean our customers. Now we're about to go into the fade part. Look very carefully to where I pointed. You're going to start with the trimmer and then go into the zero. You can start with an open soft zero and then slowly blend into a closed zero. You're going to repeat this process with every single guard as you go up while creating a soft effect between the beard and the cyber. Here's a quick tip. If you're having trouble getting into the fade, you use your thumb that's holding the brush to lift the skin ever so gently. This way you're able to get into tighter places. Now this is where the good stuff happens. We're going to start with our Maverick Tonic Spray and use that to saturate the hair. And upon saturation, then you would add your pre-shaved product by massaging it into your client's skin. customer first if the towel is too hot before placing it on his head. Using our Born Again Shave Gel, we're going to go ahead and apply that directly to the client's skin. Now, this is an organic and handmade gel. It has natural ingredients in it, so you shouldn't have any problems with any type of allergies. It's important you have a starting and stopping point when doing head shaves. I usually start by the crown and work my way toward the nape and then follow a guideline either to the right or to the left. Now this is the free hand technique. In different positions around the customer's head you can use the back hand technique. Mostly though you'll be doing the free hand technique. Position between you and the chair is very important when doing a head shave. How you stand in perpendicular to the customer's head will determine which hand technique you should use best. As I showed you earlier with the fade and using the opposite hand to stretch the skin, that's how you're shaving the entire head. Using the opposite hand to pull the skin away opposite from the hand in which you're shaving. Once you're done shaving, you're going to grab your Babyliss Gold Pro FX or any other type of shaver that you're using and kind of just go against the grain at this point and removing any other bulk that is remaining on the client's head. Be thorough during this process. Make sure you do not leave any leftover hair behind.
Next, grab a toner or moisturizer and massage it into your client's scalp. Next, we're going to apply the next hot towel. Remember to ask the customer again if the temperature is too hot before placing it on their scalp. While that's warming up, use the massager to gently go over their head. You want your customer to remember you when he leaves your chair. Your end of service experience is the last thing that they're going to remember and the first thing they're going to remember when they want to come back to you. A classic neck shave on a man can scratch areas that a normal person just can't scratch. That's why this service is special in itself. It's classic, it's traditional, and it will last and stand the test of time. Then apply aftershave, hot towel, and massage. That's all for today and I thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you feel led to donate to educate Cash App Barbara Beer Co. Until next time, Hebrews 11.6. God bless.